I mean, you say you want to be healthy, but based on your actions, does it look like you want to be healthy? If, you, if, if, you know, if you're just taking a bird's eye view of the situation, you're not you, and I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, this person said they want to be healthy, and I looked at what they've done for the last three weeks. Is that consistent? So why don't we do what we know? That's why this is the first class. I have to bridge that gap. Why don't we do what we know to do? Because you said you already know three things that you can do to improve your health tomorrow. And you might do them now because you were here tonight. But if you wouldn't have done this, if you wouldn't have intervened and came to this class, you probably would not have, right? You wouldn't have translated that knowledge to action, which turns into results. Regardless of what each person's desire to change, the rules for change don't change. The rules to change are the rules to make change. It doesn't matter if someone wants to, one person wants to get more fit, one person wants to get, lose weight, one person wants to change a relationship. It doesn't matter. The rules of change are universal. So if I was in a, in a room of 200 people, I don't have to come up with, well, this person wants to change this, so this is their set of rules, and this person wants to change this, so this is their set of rules, and this person wants, it doesn't work like that. The rules for change are universal. The eight, the eight stage process to creating lasting change. This is where your workbook is going to start to kick in with you. So when you get home and I give you this workbook tonight, it's going to walk you through this process that I'm going to take you through from here. So it says, establish a sense of urgency. I'm just going to read these quickly. Create an accountability team. Develop a vision and set goals. Preserving personal power is the fuel to change. Change beliefs, the answer to permanent change. Create a daily affirmation. Your focus is your reality. Accumulate wins. Always start by adding, reinvigorate the process. We're going to walk through those now, right? Now, I'm not saying you have to do them in that order. You can be, you're going to be doing things in each one of those categories simultaneously. You're not going to be doing just the first one. Just the, Now, you can walk through them that way. I believe that creating a sense of urgency for most of us should be the first step. Because without a sense of urgency, What's going to happen? Do deadlines motivate you? Yeah. Why? They create a sense of urgency, right? I mean, I knew I had this seminar to prepare for tonight. I've known for a long time. I knew two years ago when I started doing these seminars that January of this year I'd be doing one, right? And I've been preparing and planning and reading books and doing things like that. But the reality is is that I knew I had a deadline of today, and that created a sense of urgency to have certain things done by this point in time that probably wouldn't have gotten done until next week if next week was the deadline, right? Not because I'm a bad person or a procrastinator, just because we need a sense of urgency. We need dates. We need accountability. We need someone to hold us to task, right? And I knew you were coming, and I knew you were expecting something that was worth two hours of your life. 